You see the eighth question. Draw the graphs of the following equations on the same system of coordinates. Write the coordinates of their points of intersection. Now, if you look at these lines which they have given, x plus four equal to zero, y minus one equal to zero, two x plus three equal to zero, and three y minus fifteen equal to zero. All of them can be written in the form x equal to a constant or y equal to a constant. So first we convert it into to that form. Now if it is in the form of x equal to a constant, we know it is a line parallel to the y-axis. And if it is in the form y is equal to a constant, then it is parallel to the x-axis. So we draw those lines and then write the points of intersection of them. So first one, we write it of the form x equal to a constant. x plus 4 equal to 0 will be x is equal to minus 4. It is x equal to a constant, therefore it is parallel to the y-axis. Next we have y minus 1 equal to 0. So this can be written as y is equal to 1. Taking minus 1 on the other side becomes plus 1. Next we have 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Now taking 3 on the other side it becomes 2x is equal to minus 3. 2x is equal to minus 3, therefore x is equal to minus 3 upon 2. Minus 3 upon 2. This 2 is multiplying here, here it will divide. So x equal to minus 3 upon 2, therefore x is equal to 3 upon 2 is 1.5. Okay. So, minus 3 upon 2 will be minus 1.5. So, we can write here minus 1.5. 3y minus 15 equal to 0. Take minus 15 on the other side. So, 3y equal to 15. Then I have to find out what is y. So, y is equal to... 15, this 3 divides now upon 3. 15 upon 3 is 5, therefore y is equal to 5. You have seen here all the equations, we have changed it to x equal to constant or y equal to constant. But when I draw the graph of these lines, I will always write the equation what is given. We will not write these equations which we have simplified and found. We will write the original equation according to what is given. Now first we go to this this equation that is x plus 4 equal to 0 which is x equal to minus 4. x equal to minus 4 is a line which is parallel to the y-axis. So we look at our graph. We have the y-axis here. So we should have a line parallel to the y-axis. x should be minus 4 so the line should pass through minus 4. So, I keep my scale here at minus 4, at minus 4 and draw a line passing through minus 4. Okay, so again you see here when I have drawn the line, the ends of the line are touching the two ends of the graph. What was this line? The line was x is equal to minus 4 but the original line given was x plus 4 equal to 0. So we write against it x plus 4 equal to 0. Second one is y minus 1 equal to 0 that is y equal to 1 means it is a line parallel to the x-axis. 
this is the x-axis parallel to x-axis will be any line like this y is 1 so that means the line should pass through 1 so I can keep my scale here and draw horizontal line passing through 1 on the y-axis so it will be this line okay then I put arrow marks on either ends of the line and write the equation of the line against it the equation of the line is y is equal to 1 but original equation is y minus 1 equal to 0 so I write here y minus 1 equal to 0 what is the third equation 2x plus 3 equal to 0 simplified version x is equal to minus 1.5 x equal to a constant is a line parallel to the y axis minus 1.5 will be exactly between minus 1 and minus 2 that is passing through this point so I will keep my scale here and draw a line passing through this so I will draw a line like this which is parallel to the y axis I put arrow marks above as well as below what was this line it was x equal to minus 1.5 but what was the original equation given to us 2x plus 3 equal to 0 so this line is 2x plus 3 equal to 0 then the next one is 3y minus 15 is 0 what is the simplified version y is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 is a line which is parallel to the x-axis and it should pass through 5. So, I will keep my scale at 5 on the y-axis and then draw a horizontal line. So, like this, I draw a horizontal line. And the two ends of the line, I put the arrow mark. So, this is y is equal to 5. What was the original equation? 3y minus 15 equal to 0. So, I write here 3y minus 15 equal to 0. Now, I have to also write the coordinates of the points of intersection. Let us see what all coordinates we get. Okay, We can get this coordinate here. So we will first write the coordinates. What is the coordinate of this point? Minus 4 on the x axis and 5 on the y axis. So we write minus 4 comma 5 what is this point of intersection it is the point of intersection of x plus 4 equal to 0 and 3y minus 15 equal to 0 so we write here points of intersection of x plus 4 equal to 0 and 3y minus 15 equal to 0 is the coordinates what we wrote is minus 4 comma 5. So I write here minus 4 minus 4 comma 5. Now I have to also find some more. So points of intersection of now see the next one here. This point of intersection. That is the point of intersection of this line 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and 3y minus 15 equal to 0. What are the 
points of intersection coordinates here the coordinates are minus 1.5 on the x axis here between minus 1 and minus 2 so minus 1.5 and the y coordinate is 5 so minus 1.5 comma 5 that is the points of intersection of the line 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and 3y minus 15 equal to 0 so points of intersection of 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and 3y minus 15 equal to 0 is minus 1.5 comma 5 okay so we have got two coordinates further we go we have one more here one more point here so let us see this point it is the point of intersection of x plus 4 equal to 0 and y minus 1 equal to 0 so what will be the coordinates of this point of intersection minus 4 on the x axis and 1 on the y axis so minus 4 comma 1 of which lines x plus 4 equal to 0 and y minus 1 equal to 0 so i write now points of intersection of x plus 4 equal to 0 and y minus 1 equal to 0 is minus 4 comma 1. Next I have one more here one more point of intersection that is here what are the coordinates of this point the x coordinate is minus 1.5 y coordinate is 1 minus 1.5 comma 1 so minus 1.5 comma 1 this point is the point of intersection of this line 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and y minus 1 equal to 0. So I write here points of intersection of 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and y minus 1 equal to 0 is minus 1.5 comma 1 so now you see here we have drawn all the four lines whatever they have asked also we have marked four of the points of intersection of these lines with the other there are no more points of intersection you can see on the full graph paper no more points of intersection of these four lines so we have completed now this eighth question.